To browse the audiobooks, we're just going to click into that tab and it's going to bring up the entire library. Again, Learning Ally boasts over 80,000 human read audiobooks. So there's a pretty good chance that anything that you're looking for is going to show up here. If you have an ISBN number for your trusted copy of your favorite novel, you can enter that in case you want to have the same pagination of your students. Um, however, if you don't, that's fine too. I'm going to type in night and I'm going to select search. It's a popular eighth grade novel. I'm going to scroll down until I see the title that I'm looking for. And you can see here that we have two different versions of night. This is where the ISBN number would come in handy. I prefer to use this copy from 2006, so I'm going to add it to my bookshelf. You will see that it has an available format. This voice text H means that it's being read by a human being. And then I'm going to add it to my book bookshelf. When we add it to the bookshelf, we can select students individually to add them to, um, or we can select our entire class. So you can see here that I have a mixed um, grade level. So I'm going to filter my students by grade level by clicking on the grade tab, going down to eighth grade, and then selecting the magnifying glass. This will filter my list. I'm going to then select add all, and they will be here. I can deselect students if I need to. So if I only want to add a certain number of students to a particular title, I can click on this X and it will remove them from that title. When I have my list ready, I'm then going to select Assign Books. When I click on that, it will give me the list of students that have been assigned this book. We do need to remind our students that in order to listen to the book that we've chosen, we need to download the app. So the app is available on the App Store for iPhone. If you have an Android, it's on Google Play. And it's also available as an extension on the Chrome Store. So all we need to do to get this on our, our computers is click on the icon that says Chrome Store, it will bring you to the Google Chrome Web Store, and then we can select Add to Chrome. This will allow the extension, and we are going to add the application. Okay. Once the application has been added, students can then use ClassLink to, to access their, their Learning Ally audiobook. And they can also, once they've downloaded it on their phone, they can access their audiobooks on their phones as well.